Good morning, it's Dr. Hodges. I just dropped my car off to get washed and literally the car wash place is a block from my house. So I'm just doing a little quick walk around the block and I thought that I would talk to you guys a little bit today about bariatric surgery and heart disease and um, how surgery can help and actually how weight loss can help as well. Um, actually, February is heart month. And so I thought it would be very appropriate just to, for me to give you some of the newest information and stats on um, how bariatric surgery and just weight loss in general, how it can help. So I know um, I've said in the past and what some of the other data has shown in the past is, you know, you really don't have to have a lot of weight loss to have a profound impact on your blood pressure. In fact, if you lose just 10% of your um, weight, and so that means if you have 100 excess pounds, you lose 10 pounds, probably going to have a little bit of a drop in that systolic blood pressure. That's the number that's on top of your blood pressure. Um, <clears throat> now, you can do that with surgery. You can also do that with medical weight loss. The only unfortunate thing about medical weight loss is that all of the research shows that for many people, it's just not sustainable. Now, I offer medical weight loss in my practice. It has certainly benefited a lot of my patients. And I use the same um, plan for my medical, medical weight loss patients as I do for my bariatric patients once they've kind of met that weight maintenance phase. Again, I think we really need to have a paradigm shift in how we approach our weight. If you are overweight, you really need to look at it for what it is. It is a disease process. It is a chronic disease process. I just got back from a conference and we were talking about how, you know, it's your weight and metabolism, how your body processes um, glucose and uh, all of these different things, all these different pathways have a profound effect on your weight and your ability to lose weight. It's not just behavior. Um, I thought it was interesting um, when they were discussing this because I certainly have some people that respond very well to one medication over another. Or I also have some people that they have fantastic outcomes from their surgery. And then I have some folks that are on the bottom part of the bell curve, but their lifestyle choices seem to be about the same. So there's something just more than just behavior that's affecting outcomes for my patients. So, um, with that being said, I wanted to kind of go over what are, what is some of the newest information about bariatric surgery and your heart. So, actually in 2018, there was a study that was done looking at, and I have my notes, 2018, a study looking at about 1,300 patients, and before surgery, everybody had Free hypertension. So everybody had just about high blood pressure. 60% already had arterial hypertension and 40% of these folks also had diabetes. So had the, they had the bad combo of diabetes and high blood pressure. And there was a very, very long study that was performed. Gosh, we even talked about it whenever I was in medical school and that was many moons ago. And that was called the Framingham study. And the Framingham study actually created a risk, um, uh, risk scoring um, test to see, based on a number of parameters, what is your uh, risk for developing heart disease um, when you have certain comorbidities or health problems. And what they found is based on the stats from this um, study of 1,300 patients, they were all about at an eight times risk higher than the general population for developing severe heart disease. After they all went, after they all had surgery, so a year afterwards, that risk dropped by 40%. That's significant. We also have information that shows that after surgery, you can have complete resolution of diabetes in 77% of patients and for those with hypertension or high blood pressure, it, you can have complete resolution in 62 to 75%. It decreases your mortality whenever you have a heart attack. And 
let's say it decreases mortality if you have cardiovascular disease by 56%, 92% risk of mortality with di if you have diabetes and it also decreases your cancer risk by 60%. So I've just said a whole bunch of percentages. So I think really what the moral of the story is, is bariatric surgery can really help. I think what's interesting, what people need to know is that bariatric surgery is more than just weight loss. It is metabolic. And what do I mean by metabolic? Well, <clears throat> what I mean is that when my patients leave the hospital, they sometimes are able to come off all their diabetes medicine or their blood pressure medicine. In fact, oftentimes we'll stop everything. And if somebody's on two or three, or if they've been, <clears throat> pardon me, if they've been treated for um, longer than eight or nine years, we may, we may alter some of their blood pressure medicine so we wean them down. Because our fear is that when you go home, if you're on all the same medicines, your blood pressure might drop and your glucose might just plummet. We don't want that. But, when you go home and you've just had surgery, it's not like you've lost 20, 30 pounds. You haven't lost anything. In fact, I have some people, because we give you a bunch of fluid in surgery, some people are even kind of freaked out because they're like, I think I gained five pounds. And I just say, oh, don't worry about it. That's just water weight. Don't worry about that. You will mobilize that. So there are certainly other mechanisms that are in place other than simple weight loss after these surgeries that have a profound effect on your blood pressure and on your um, and on how your body responds to glucose so um, I think in summary it just goes to show we have a lot of data now that shows that you would just have an overall positive effect on your cardiovascular system um, on resolution of high blood pressure and diabetes whenever you undergo bariatric surgery it makes me feel very good because um, I just got an email from, I think it was like the American Endocrine Society. And then also, um, let's see, I think it was the American Heart Association at heart.org. They're finally keying into the fact that bariatric surgery is a very good viable option. I think it's interesting. I was reading a, um, an article that said, you know, bariatric surgery, it's now done laparoscopically and it's safe. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we've done a terrible job of educating our colleagues. I mean, I've been doing bariatric surgery since 2011. And even in my training, we never did any of these surgeries open. Everybody was done laparoscopically and everybody went home the day after surgery. So, and I mean, that was, I started residency in 2006. I mean, that was many moons ago. So the fact that there is an article that I just read within the last week from a major medical association that was saying, hey, we have this great data that shows what the new things are in bariatrics. They're talking about things that we've actually been doing for the last decade or so. So um, bariatric surgery, it is safe. It is surgery, however, it's not without complications. But that's also why I always get cardiac stress tests on every one of my patients. My rule of thumb is, is that the time for me to figure out that there's something wrong with your heart is not when you are on the table. So that's why I always get a stress test for my people. But I am happy to see that more and more it's becoming mainstream, that people are seeing all the good health benefits from bariatric surgery, and that it can have a profound positive effect in your overall health especially your cardiovascular health. Hope this helps and please share this with your friends. They may just be able to um, get some surgery too or do some different changes in their life um, so they can be much ha happy, healthier people. Hope this helped. Bye-bye.